Bonjour, Ohayo gozaimasu, good morning. Day 22 of the challenge, and I'm doing it. I've promised you that I would show you that healthy drink that I make uh, starting in autumn and through the winter to boost my immune system. Uh, and thanks to it, usually I don't get that much of calls, which is a good thing. So the ingredients are very simple. Who's with me? I see five of you. Uh, Marcus, good morning. You probably saw in the thumbnail, we have the ingredients here, guys. Very easy. I've started grating some fresh ginger. But I'll hold on a second. I feel I can't see you guys. Marty. You need five ingredients, I think four or five. Fresh ginger or powdered ginger works too, I think. But I, if I can get the stuff fresh, I use it fresh, I prefer. This is a tur uh, turmeric, curcuma, turmeric. Lisa wants to say hello. Tu veux dire bonjour, Marcus? Viens. Oide. Lisa, ciao. Fresh lemon. honey and black pepper because the black pepper enhances the properties of the uh, curcuma. Hi Luis, San Diego, I've never been to San Diego. So what we do first, I mean, you know, you can put in any order you want. What I do is that I grate my fresh ginger first. So the equivalent is about let's say one teaspoon voila that's about it i think okay in my starbucks cup that one is from dallas <laughs> I didn't go there, but um, when I went to uh, Las Vegas, I could buy it. Because at some point, I, was, I started a collection of um, Starbucks cups. I put some water just because I don't, I want to get this water. So hot water, guys. Okay. Voila. Then half a fresh lemon. <laughs> I like it fresh. <laughs> Up. Okay, this. Half a fresh lemon. What do you think about this beautiful, beautiful, uh, how do you call that? It's not a napkin. It's a torso. My assistant is not, is sleeping. Well, that, because I like, you know, to use all of the ingredients. Then, the turmeric curcuma. Huh? I'd say, I think the recipe is the tea towel. Yes, Phil. How do you like it? <laughs> How do you like it, Phil? The recipe said one teaspoon, but I put half a teaspoon. To me, I don't want to overdo it. San Diego, Bea, we have another person from San Diego. So I put half a teaspoon of curcuma, but you could put a teaspoon. Some honey, because we have all those ingredients you don't want. That can be a little bit aggressive, I think, to the stomach. So honey. Attends. 
リザちゃんすごいね強いねほらミックスリオンアントエンハンスプロパティスアゲンアフタトゥーメリカイプトゥリオンビットオフブラックペッパーイディスアスラキャンクッキングガイスライトジョスライクオピフアアテンキスプロブリアシュプトゥリオンビットモーバッツアイドンライクトゥハブトゥプトゥマッチ Because I don't like to have pepper first thing in the morning. Hi, Byron. Hi, Jackie. Paolo. How are you guys? I, I, Anthony. Anthony. Allez, à la française, the pronunciation. That's my healthy drink. I started doing this about three years ago. It's good to boost your immune system. And uh, also, it's good for. For inflammation, any kind of inflammation that your body can have. Hi, Manabi. Nihono kata desu ka? Voila. And at the time, I had joint pains. And I thought, maybe do I have rheumatism? Like, you know, oh my God, that would be so early in my life. It wasn't that because I took many tests at the hospital. I have to. Taste this because I'm so thirsty. Tadakimas. So let me show you the color. And I started drinking this because I had, I found this, you know, on Facebook, this、uh, miraculous drink. Voila, you can see the fresh ginger.、Huh? Yes, all those ingredients have a lot of properties. Um, like the ginger also cleans your body, right? And it also warms your body. I mean, when I do this in the morning, in, during the winter, I come in this room and it's pretty, it's a little bit cold. I drink this first in the morning and、um, it, it warms my body up. So, itadakimasu. Ah, and I like it. You still have the flu, Phil? I forgot you had the flu. Sorry about that. Yeah, yesterday you couldn't drink、um, wine. I used to say that, you know, when you, you've got the flu, it kills the, germ, the germs. But then, you know, when you grow older and you realize that drinking wine, having medicine, it's not a good thing, you should definitely try this. It will give you a, a good boost. I think it will help you recover faster. はようございます。So, about the taste, it's a little bit difficult to have in to describe. You have, if you don't know turmeric taste, it's, it's curry like. I cover it and I put it in the cupboard, but you know, spices shouldn't be too much into light. So it has that kind of curry taste, I think.、Um, and then what I feel most in here, I can put a little bit more of. I don't know what it I can't feel the black pepper today. What I feel most is the turmeric and let's say the lemon. If you'd put more honey, you would feel it more, but the honey makes the whole thing a little bit round. It mellows the whole thing, I think. Hi, JK. Salut, m o a b e d Bonjour, ça va? Tu es basé où? Comment ça se fait que tu sois、euh, debout? Thomas, ohayo gozaimas. Thank you so much for the. I'm going to make up for having the cheese tart on my own yesterday. Did you watch on replay? Thank you so much, it was so delicious. This is good, I love this. It just, it makes me like, it really warms me up. The bad thing is that it gives you a, a yellow tongue. So, you know, sometimes、um, 
<laughs> it can be like you know it's not very uh, aesthetic but uh, voila that's my boost in the morning the other thing i've done this last month i completely forgot guys to take it first thing while i was preparing this this is good for your um immune system right natural I want to, yeah, alors collagen uh, peptides for joint and overall body health, yes, and also for my skin, it would be good, I think. Um, the thing, guys, is that these days, this last year, I haven't been into supplements that much. I used to take supplements all over the year, and there are times, you know, in your life when you change things, I think, and I've tried to do things naturally mostly my joint problems were due to my food habits it turns out that i think i've explained that uh, to you before that um it's not my dog because not um, conventional doctors do you say that la médecine conventionnelle they wouldn't tell you that, but, but it's uh, like what we, we call a naturopath in French. We made tests and it turns out that dairy is not good for my body. And I'm a big, I used to be a big dairy um, consumer. I eat dairy again now because <laughs> we say choshi no teru in Japanese. Hi Jessica, hi Jason. Uh, but it's not that good for my body. And foods that you can eat, that dog is super good because um, it turns out that depending on your blood type, there are foods and other foods that you should or not, should not eat. And he really found what is good and not good for me. And I think that there is really, uh, I felt better since i've reduced dairy i'm eating more consuming more dairy lately which is not so good i think uh good morning david thank you so much uh i have to try that super nice hot coffee no hot chocolate stuff that i bought because uh, in italy because i have bought some milk i consume milk and cheese more again there is inflammatory, right? And that dog, he f made me realize that all those small issues, body issues that I had, it, it's basically inflammatory. My body gets inflammated because I'm O positive and uh, also O, o we tend to have a body that gets acidifies, that acidifies easily. So after we discovered that i stopped dairy for a month and a half that was hard i can tell you guys and you know what after a few weeks guys after a month i say a month and a half because after a month and a half i realized that i didn't have the joint pains anymore and that was miraculous to me and also other small issues that i had stopped um so i started consuming a little bit of milk again like having cafe latte or putting milk in, in my tea but uh yes but the whole thing you know uh yeah it's i mean this drink really helps and then there was there are also other things that i should be doing that i'm not doing anymore like you know uh if you have meat in the evening it acidifies your body there are many many things that I followed almost to the rule, do you say, like pretty strictly. And um, I'm not a morning person, people, <laughs> as you can see, like a woo. <laughs> but <laughs> I had, I have, you know, I'm enjoying doing this, you know, sharing my life. And I know that some of you wanted to see this. So, um, my brain, I can, I'm good in the morning, you know, like writing things and 
it's okay but talking i don't like to talk in the morning i'm okay guys no i'm i'm good i'm not feeling bad this is just the morning voice like you know because i'm still i woke up at something like seven but i still my head is still sleeping um so anyways this uh i've changed my the way i eat i try i haven't been that good at it lately because i eat a lot of dairy again and i have you know those um cheese deliveries etc etc and i can tell you <clears throat> hi jeff that i feel the difference because once i stopped eating dairy then you realize what your body can digest easily and not digest easily and clearly when i eat dairy i feel a little, a little bit like um Iga motareteru. Do, do I have Japanese people watching today? Please translate. Like when you feel your stomach is heavy, right? So anyways, that uh, dog gave me lots of advices. I read books about alimentation depending on the blood type, which I highly recommend. I will have the books. I will put the names there are some are really like super specific and it's really high level and other are more like for let's say commoners easier to read but i think it's interesting for anyone to read to have a little bit of information about what's good or not good depend on our blood type because people don't realize that food it really comes from the body and from what we eat. Alimentation, food is our first medicine of all. Zenko Kitsune san, konnichiwa. Thank you for all the video. You'll be back in Japan later this month. Thank you so much for the chip in. I appreciate that. Um, and I will put the recipe sujoi also in the description, okay, guys? Uh, um, Food is the first medicine. What we put in our medicine, uh, in our body is the base of our health, right? And sometimes I know that I feel bad because I'm like, oh my God, I'm not doing, doing good to my body. Especially when I <laughs> taste all this junk <laughs> for you guys. But, you know, processed food is not good. And so many things are not good, but then even in the natural products that we ingest, some products don't fit our bodies. And it's good to be aware of that because like those joint problems, seriously, I had tests in Japan I ha and I had tests in France because they were like, you have nothing. And I was like, why it was getting worse and worse over a year and a half, those pain joints. And I wouldn't, I couldn't understand why. And to me, that was so weird. And, you know, at some point it starts stressing you out because you think, why does it hurt this much? And the doctors tell me I have nothing, right? Tu vas dormir? Gros bisous. A bientôt. Um, and then, you know, I have found this. Alors, it's not homeopathy, it's naturopath. I should check this out. Alors, attends, naturopathe. We say in French, naturopathe. But, na naturopathy, guys. You've never heard about this? Attends, naturopathie. You don't know? Voilà, c'est ça. Naturopathe, maybe. Um, so that helps a lot. And um, voila, I can, I, I, I will put in the description, you know, also the, the, those books I've read about food depending on blood types. Um, voila. Really, I'm sorry, guys, my brain is not fun functioning. Hello, lemon in warm water. Yes, this is good.
Alors, milk, I think it just depends on the bodies, but some bodies maybe can assimilate it. But now, from what I've read, they say that the milk, the cow's protein is too big for the human body to assimilate. This is why it's not recommended. But now, if, if it's good for you, I'm not telling you guys don't do this or do that. I'm just telling you, hey, depend, so, some of you probably have the same metabolism as me. So some of the tips I'm giving you will work for you. Um, but some others, it won't work. I mean, they can eat all the dairy they want and they're probably fine, right? And it's like some people... Like people who are vegetarian, it works with some people and doesn't work with other people because of their blood type. And they are not aware of that. And some people, they do need the meat and others, they don't need it. You, you, you just have to be aware of what you need or not, right? Yeah, baby, uh, cow's meal technically is designed for cows, right? So... Voila, voila. Alors, I should be finishing this before eating. I finish this and then I wait at least 10 minutes. It's like also my routine is that first thing in the morning, I drink a glass of not hot, in between warm and hot water to wake up my stomach. And then you have to wait. Well, I have been doing this for years and years, but some of the naturopath told me that it was um, high little. You had better have to wait for at least 10 minutes so that your stomach is awakened before having breakfast. But you know that I don't have breakfast right away, so that's okay. Then, so lately I've been having, I have a spoon of this, like this, but you can put in juice, in um, yogurt, anything you want. And then after that, I have this, this, this. Uh, alors, it's not room temperature water that you should be drinking. It's really warm water. I think that the Chinese, they've been doing this for thousands of years, like forever not the room temperature water to boost your stomach it's really like yeah lukewarm i think water uh, then if you want to do the detox like lots of people who drink people who drink alcohol they say yeah we have been doing for a week or two the lemon juice fresh lemon juice in hot water in the morning and you can add some honey because, you know, lemon straight can maybe be a bit aggressive to your stomach. Um, I prefer, I do this now. I do the whole uh, mix because even during the summer, so I do it, but I do it less when the weather gets better. I really start doing this during the um, autumn, all through the winter. Because also during the autumn, you know, with the weather change, I think our body sometimes it's difficult to adjust. And I find that uh, this helps. Voila, voila. Any questions? Yes, alors Jeff, you know that um, it's better. Do you know why it's better from what I've heard? It's better actually not to drink. You know in Japan how, do you know why many Japanese people have um, stomach cancer? It's because they would have very hot things and then they put super cold things in their stomach. And I hear it's not good. Um, like the ramen is so hot and then they put ice in their water. And especially in the in the summer it's hot and you put such a cold water in your body the shock to the body is too too strong and even when it's super hot 
it's better actually to eat warm things, warm tea or warm water than super cold water because the difference is too important. It's not, I hear it's not good for the body. Voilà. Bye David, à bientôt. Thank you so much for feeding me again. Uh, I try to... I drink a lot of hot water and especially during the water because it makes me feel warmer. But in like posh restaurants to have seen women asking for hot water. So, voila, voila. Hey, crazy Anne, Ohio, gozaimas. I've been thinking about you these last days because I know you're busy and I've done a few things and I'm, you know, the live streams, I wanted to tell you about it. Right, it shocks your body, right? Okay, now do I shock my body <laughs> with the <clears throat> salted butter? Dorayaki. We can try it together, guys. And then ah, uh, I have two things to tell you about, and then I will let you. Yes, this is to make up for not tasting the egg, the tea starch with you, Thomas. Where is my beautiful plate? The babies, they heard me open this salted butter dorayaki. Do you remember when I had the salted butter dorayaki in Sugamo? Kawaii! Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Phil. Oh my God, it smells so good. Hello, little monkey sommelier. Oh my God, I just love to like it. It smells so good. She recognizes my voice. Oh, that's sweet. This comes from the supermarket, right? Yes, we bought it together. Okay, let's get it. <gasps> oh yes. I could, I, I wouldn't mind if, if that'd be like half of adzuki and the half of salted butter, right? Itadakimasu. Oh my God, that smells so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Oh, what a hard time. Mm. This is good. The pancake is good. <laughs> I don't really feel the salted butter, guys. Mm. just a little bit at the end still it's not too sweet it's like i'd say average sweetness for dorayaki the texture is super nice it's good i like it <laughs> who was saying she she shouldn't have dairy <laughs> mm. If I'd be eating more, because I have so many sweets to eat, you know, with work and that you feed me with, guys. But like, if I didn't have the opportunity to have so many different sweets, if I had, if I would, if I were buying more dolayaki, this is something I could buy again. Like, oh my God, I feel like having a dolayaki, go to the supermarket, I could eat and buy this again. This is nice. Now, the one I had in Sugamo was like freshly made and they were much more butter and they use um, French butter. So that was just so amazing. LNG, hi Jennifer, I don't know how I got your channel, but I'm happy because I love watching you or something. Thank you so much. Welcome to the channel. 
is it your first time? <laughs> it's like I didn't even, you know, uh, let it do the blow. What a morning. This is so good. I have to finish this. Mighty Tower. It's nice, right? Oh my God, it's so good, this Dorayaki. Oh, thank you, LJ. LJ. Kawaii. It, I can make a pareo to go to Thailand. Oh my God, guys, we did the booking. Okay, see, I got, I ate a little bit. I think I needed the sugar. Kum kookaburra. What is that? Gum nuts and kookaburra. Kookaburra, kawaii. Guys, we did, we got the boot king. We booked a villa. With my sister. So, we are going on holidays. You know that I will have to follow work, but... Guess who's going to Thailand for two weeks? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Super Tanoshimi, guys. I can't wait. And what is really amazing to me, we are going uh, at the end of the month, Jessica. <laughs> With my sister and her hot guy. <laughs> it's not hot to me, but you know. <laughs> Uh, maybe it's good. We'll have a, a man on the channel. Maybe that will attract more women. I need a hot guy in Thailand. When I'm with, when I'm with my sister, I don't need a hot guy. Um, because we'll have so much fun. To me, it's really wonderful because we'll be together. I mean, we haven't taken a holiday together. I don't even remember last time. Uh, we had a holiday together. We were kids, I think. Yeah, no need. And like, guys, I say that as a joke, but if I need a hot guy, you know, I mean, I don't really need a... I think I'm pretty happy in my life for now. So, you know, uh, it's kind of a joke. If I really needed a hot guy, I wouldn't be saying this. Because the things I really need, I never make public. I never talk about the things I really need, so. <laughs> Thomas. Ah, okay. I didn't know if this was public, Thomas, about your health. Um, okay, I just, I was concentrating on the comments. Hard. It's just so hard. You know, there is you, Thomas, and I've had my father, actually, he got a pretty big surgery that was uh, three weeks ago. We all have back problems. Yes, I have happy doggies. You want to come, the babies? I'm having breakfast, so now they're uh, up watching me. He had um, an, op um, an, an operation on his back and like you're like you know some people they don't wake up from surgeries some people and like it's the back you have to touch the bones and the marrow and you know and i thought what if something happens right i need to go to that bar norian san konnichiwa hajimemashite Yokoso, uh, Jennifer no channel. No, Charlie no channel. Ah, honto, arigato gozaimas. Norian says he's watching the channel always. So there was my father, you, Thomas, and then, you know, some other people like sick or having like, you know, surgery or whatever. And there are so many people around me who get sick or, you know, have health issues that I'm always very thankful, you know, to be in pretty good health. I think I don't have major, you know, health issues. 
um, but Thomas, it's just you know. I know that you you like to to watch me eating because you can't eat what you want to eat, but sometimes you know, like oh my god, it must be so terrible not to be able to eat, right? So, anyways, we are with you, right? The babies want to say hello. Oh, les petits coquins. <laughs> Ooh, kawaii. You want cat? You want to say hello? Hello, bonjour. Alors, fasting. Thank you for bringing this. Le bisou, tu fais le bisou à maman. Kawaii. Ooh, kawaii. So, Joyce, see you. Uh, fasting, lots of people have a bad, have the wrong idea about fasting and I totally agree with you because I've made some research about fasting too. I've experienced fasting which was really on short, short fasting, it was just over two days um, because at some point in my life I was very curious about, um, because food eating is my life, right? And one day, you know, I was always thinking, how can people not eat, just like skip one meal? And not, I mean, you know, in people who are in poor, who are poor and can't eat three meals a day, right? And I was thinking how, that must be horrible. It, it is horrible, I think, when you can't eat um, because you don't have the food, right? And in our countries, we throw away food, which is terrible, I think. But someday, you know, I thought, and I think it's also related to, it was that time when I started doing yoga. And yoga really changed my life, guys, because... It made me be, be aware of so many things. First, my body. Like, you're like, oh my God, I didn't even know I had uh, muscles here or there, you know, which was to me a pretty amazing discovery. And then you just, I think you become more aware of, your, of yourself first and then of your surroundings. And I got curious and I thought, hey, you know, if there are so many people in the world who can't have three meals a day, why can I not try and check this out, right? And I started one day, I thought, okay, I'm not going to have dinner. Let's see how it feels not to have dinner. And well, it feels like, I mean, you're hungry and you're like, the only thing you think about is food because you're not used not to have one meal, to skip one meal. Because all of your life you've been, um, you, you've been raised to have three meals, I mean, in our countries, you know, developed countries. And the society just, you know, they tell you you have to eat three meals. And you're sick, you don't feel like eating. People, they tell you, your grandmother, your parents, they tell you when you're a kid, you have to eat if you want to, to heal. And this is the opposite you realize when, you know, uh, you read or you get informed a little bit about fasting. I mean, people who, the doctors, etc., who work with fasting, They've observed animals in the nature. Animals, when they are sick, they don't eat. Because what requires the most energy from our body is digestion. And people, they don't realize that. And they feel tired. Why? Because they eat too much. So when you're sick, your body has to fight the sickness. And then you eat a lot and you also have to put all that energy into digestion. This is not... Uh, what we should be doing but the society tells us the contrary right so uh anyways 
Yes, digesting animal protein, it takes a lot of energy. So anyways, I did, I started with like, okay, skipping dinner. And that was like, oh my God, I, I'm so hungry. And like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. But then you start getting used to it because you realize that your, your body learns that it can go on not eating and skipping meals sometimes and that it's okay and i think that also it's in in your mind because the society as i said tells us that we have to eat three meals a, a day if not we'll be sick i'm talking about adults i'm not talking about kids because a growing kid probably needs you know all all you know the energy and the, i mean the the calories etc etc but a grown-up like us grown-up grown-ups like us and like especially me when i have super big dinners uh and i woke up the following morning and i'm not hungry and some doctors will tell me or will tell on television you have to have a breakfast i'm sorry but no i listen to my body and my body says no uh, but we are conditioned to have three meals and this is not a good thing but remember, guys, we live in cons uh, de consommation. Cons consumer society, something like that. And then after, the, after a few months, I got even more curious. And one evening I went to bed and I thought, OK, because I couldn't, I had seen that program a year ago or year before and I had been pretty shocked I mean we always see programs about you know are we consumerism consumerism society you know we all, all have seen programs about poor people and you know but I had this image of this girl who was telling like she was having a meal every three days and that was pretty shocking to me especially because you know i work in the food and wine business right and i thought seriously you know there are people who can't even have one meal a day right and one night i went to bed i remember i was going back from the restaurant and i thought you know what i ate too much tomorrow i'm not going to eat I'm going to see how it is not to eat for one day. And it was another revelation, I think, like yoga. Because you just get so sharp, so focused, I think, because your body is not putting all that energy into digesting, right? And also with just one day, I could feel more it it wasn't that very day oh, okay that day oh my god guys you wouldn't imagine the smell pouring out from my body all the toxins going and it was just over one day after that i did a few times two days uh, but that very first time i was like oh my god this whole body just smells because you have all the toxins pouring out and then after that oh my god i could feel that when i started eating again and you have to be very careful I, even if it's just one day but you know people who do long fasting they are very careful when they start uh, eating again when you start eating again you can't eat normally because this is when you spoil everything and it can be dangerous for your stomach, right? See you, JK. Uh, but I could, oh my God, I would be eating and like I could feel that all my digestive system was working, you know. And also you, the, my tasting ability was boosted. This is why sometimes I do the fruit detox and sometimes, you know, when I 
eat too much or I will skip dinner and then even if I'm hungry I would skip dinner and I just have uh, green tea and water because the following day I wake up and I feel a lot I have a lot of energy and I appreciate my meal my meals more because they get tastier we eat too much food guys and also for people who eat a lot of processed food lots of things get tasteless because of the overabundance of the food we eat we enjoy you know so to me it's important because i i, I want to enjoy the food 200 percent not 100 percent so this is why i have this um this is for my health but also for my life in general because i want to live fully 200 percent even more and when it comes to food seeing that it's so important in my life having those you know doing those it's not small things, but all the, those things, it adds up at the end of the year. And I'm healthier than I was when I was 20, I think. I'm healthier now. And um, I control, let's say that I have more control over my body. Voila. <laughs> I think I have to retitle this uh, live stream. You get addicted to junk, like when you fast a little bit or just if you do even the fruit detox, you know, when I eat the same fruit morning, lunch, tea time, if I have tea time or dinner, seriously, following day, my stomach works so well and everything gets really tasty. Yes, we have to, I have to keep my taste buds in, in good shape. shape huh? Voila, guys. Some of you might think I'm crazy, but this is how, <laughs> this is how I do it. Uh, but fasting, yes, again, it's just, it can be good. If you don't want to try it, don't try it. But if interested, just, just, just look. On the internet, you have so many, so many information. If you want to be in good health, that's something that can help you. Voila, voila. Merci beaucoup, uh, LJ and the others. Anne, are you still here? Are you... Uh, Anne is not sleeping, that girl. We have... Sleep is also super important for our health, right? Alors, to finish today's live stream, you know, yesterday you, you were talking to me about um, if I do a meetup or... Today I'm working from home and I have to keep on cleaning. I cleaned first thing in the morning. I was so, so fed up with the house being a mess. Um, this week, if you're in Tokyo, two occasions to meet with me and also enjoy good food and wine. Tomorrow, I will be, I'm doing the MC at a restaurant in uh, Akasaka. So I'm going to put the information of both events on Instagram, guys. But there is this French chef coming to Tokyo. You're here, Anne. How are the chats going on? Are you chatting right now? Uh, I have a face pack to send you because you, I know you will love it. You can use it with your fans. So there is, it's out of 14,000 yen with wine. Um, hey, hi, Dan. This chef has, I think, one or two stars in Provence, France. And we did an event last year. I was the MC again. Oh my God, his food is just so good. So I will be at that dinner 
and we I think there are probably some seats still available. So if you want to have dinner with Jennifer, that would be, well, not, that's an occasion. And then if you're interested in wine, Japanese wines, and you know that I love Shiojili in Nagano and uh, the wines of that area, there is an event on Saturday and I'll be there to help. Um, and you can say this is an event that's going to be fun because you'll be able to taste many wines, but there is also a, a Miss Wine Japan thing. Hi, lady. And you, you, you can taste something like 17, because there are, in Chiojili, there are 17 winemakers. And you'll be able to taste... Ah, no, attends, just wait. So there are Nagano wines, probably other wines. I see 60, about 60 wines. You'll be able to taste. Christian, I will answer that afterwards. Uh, I think the admission fee is something like 5,000 yen, 3,000, yes, 5,000 yen. That's about what, 47 bucks? I'll be there. And you'd be able to enjoy wine, so voila. I will put the information on Instagram. I know also because uh, my Japanese friends may want to come, so I will put the information, but that's two occasions, two places where we could meet. Also, um, I will, if I decide to be at some station or some place and I have the hour, uh, I will let you know this week. This is something I will do from, from now on. Okay. Hi, Valencia. Voila. Alors, yes, Christian, exercising is super important too. And sometimes we don't have the time to, but um, I try to exercise as much as possible. Uh, Jade, hi, I'm very good, thank you. I'm about to end the live stream because I have to work, to finish my breakfast and to work. Tomorrow, so tomorrow's live stream will be at this event in uh, Akasaka. If some of you can join, please come. Uh, Crazy Anne, are you live streaming right now? I s I'm so busy and I wish I could, you know, join that chat thing you are doing. Uh, Jeff, a bientôt. Jade, a bientôt. But tomorrow's live stream hour will probably be, let's say, around 6, 7 p.m. Because dinner starts at 7.30. Or it will be during dinner. I might show you during dinner because it will be super cool. So... Voilà, voilà. Jessica, à bientôt. Phil, get well soon. Thomas, uh, good luck. Not good luck. We say gamba te say like you have to, you know, just have to take days every day, every day as they come. I think. Um, and I will see you tomorrow. Okay. I love you. Oisi, if you find it, and see you tomorrow. À demain. Bisous guys, yes, my live streams motivate me to reach my goals. This is why I will keep on doing it, I think. A bientôt guys. Yuko, a bientôt. Bisous. Marty, bye bye. Bye bye, Lisa Chang. Alisa, bye.